Hey guys, this is the Ultimate Warrior here, and I just wanted to make a quick introduction video to my, I guess, statue series, where I'll just kind of discuss uh, my statues that I have, or what I look for in statues, stuff like that. But we're going to get started as to what got me into statue collecting in the first place. Currently, I have about, actually have to look, about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have about eight statues, or nine statues right now. And they're kind of small statues, but I'm kind of moving up from like your 1 8, 1 6 scale up to your 1 4 scale. And I currently have uh, one, two, three, four. I have three statues on pre order and one that I'm uh, having a payment plan on. With, um, I lost my train of thought. With plans to get some more statues, like your high end statues in the future. And I'm talking about, like, possibly an entire line. Maybe about 10 to 15 more statues over the next few years or so, hopefully. But anyways, let's, let's get back to the original subject. What got me into statue collecting? Well, I'd have to say it was this guy right here. If you are, aren't familiar with him, he is Cole McGrath from Infamous 2. And Infamous 2 was a very special game to me because it was the very first game I pre-ordered. Yeah, my very first. And just for a reference, this isn't the original Cole McGrath that I had. I had to sell the other one because part of the head got scratched. But, anyways... So back to Infamous 2. Sorry, my mind is like all over the place. So that was the very first game that I pre-ordered. And it was a game that I really enjoyed. And I eventually, I didn't pre-order it, but I got the collector's edition a little bit later. And it came with like a backpack and a statue and some DLC and the comic book, stuff like that. And so I was so proud to get you know, the original Cole McGrath statue, and I I posted him, like, posted, hoisted, blah. So I set him on top of, like, one of my counters, and I was just so happy to be able to look at him. But the problem was, he was by himself, and he didn't have anyone with him. He was always so alone, and after that, I started to look for more statues around his size. That way, he could have a buddy to be with. I was looking at the Max Payne statue, uh, the Heldegas little figure. But, if, you know, I was a broke college student at that time. You know, I was trying to sell on Craigslist just to get some extra money. So, I didn't have enough for these statues. So, that that was about six years ago. Fast forward to now, where I had a, a little bit of income from my part-time minimum wage job, but still income nonetheless. And I started to collect more statues and more. And now it's gotten to a point where, like, I'm, that's my hobby. You know, so Cole, he won't be alone anymore. It might sound childish and childish and cheesy, but... You know, it is what it is. I, I've grown to love collecting statues, and I hope to have a whole bunch more in the future. You know, I think it's ironic because when I first got this statue, like, I wanted to collect, but I didn't have the money. But now I'm going broke because of the statues. And I was, it was funny because I was looking at um, my budget for uh, my niece and nephew's uh, Christmas. My nephew in particular, Zach, he wants a PlayStation Vita. And anyone who knows about PlayStation Vitas are they are really expensive. And that's not the only thing he wants. Just to put it in perspective, if I just got him a, play a used PlayStation Vita, 
No games or anything. If I just got him a used one, I would have overspent on my budget for everyone in my family. Just keeping it real. But I was looking at getting him one, and I was just thinking to myself, you know, I might be able to do it until I get an email saying that my final payment is going to be due for my latest statue, which is the Uncharted 4 statue. They've been pushing it off and pushing it off because it was shipping later and later, but now they really, they want to charge me around Christmas. So it's just like, oh no, you couldn't have waited to January. But anyways, that's how I got into statue collecting. So I want to start a series on this. If you guys have any questions or stuff, feel free to ask me in the, uh, in the comments below. I'll try to make a video on them. I do have... Like, some of my earliest, earlier videos, like, had statues in them. But, um, if you guys want me to redo those videos, and, like, I guess on my phone, which is high definition, I can always do that if there's an interest for it. But, yeah, you can look back at my earlier videos with the even crappier, uh, graphics. And just see, like, the type of statues I have. Like, particularly Resident Evil and uh, Splinter Cell. So, yeah, guys, I guess that is it about now. Like I said, if you have any questions or whatnot, or any statue topics that you want me to talk about, just leave your comments uh, in the comments below. <laughs> comments, Leave your questions in the comments section below, and I will see you all in the next video. Talk to you later.